I've had several people ask me about uh, popping baby snakes to sex them. So uh, I'm gonna uh, prepare this little video that'll help uh, demonstrate how to do that. Uh, a couple things to point out first is it always seems to work better when the snake is fairly uh, uh, fresh out of the egg. I think after a while their muscle tissue firms up and it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, the other thing is is um, I don't pop hognose snakes. Um, I'll get in another uh, into another video with them to explain how I sex those and uh, why I don't pop them. But today we have a little Mexican milk snake that's just a few weeks old and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, you just kind of gently work with them, get them flipped over so they're not distressed and then you take your thumb, see there's the vent, but you kind of start down past the vent a little bit and then notice like the, like the shape of my thumb is kind of curved on the bottom and I kind of roll my thumb until the hemipene pops out. If you uh, get in closer on that, did you see that? There's both hemipenes popping out, okay? Now, um, notice the snake's not distressed and jumping around because I was really gentle. Uh, if, you, um, if you don't roll your thumb, those hemipenes are inverted in the base of the tail. So when you roll your thumb, it kind of forces them out, kind of like, you know, toothpaste out of a tube. Um, I've seen some people press down on the tails really hard, and that can sometimes, I think, lead to damaging the snake. Uh, so anyways, that seems to be the trick, is just to kind of roll your thumb just right. And it, you, you don't have to press very hard if it's a male. They'll Usually the hemipenes will pop right out. So anyways, there it is.